Well, hello and welcome. My name is James McNeil. This is the Emotionally Intelligent Fighter video series, and this is hosted by MentalMMA.com. This particular video is about visioning and affirmations, or envisioning, having a vision in one's own mind of seeing yourself accomplishing something, seeing yourself achieve something. Affirmations are the positive, personal, present tense, uh, verbal affirmation. So saying something very personal, present tense, and positive to oneself. So they'll say, I'm, I'm happy and grateful now that I have uh, won the championship, or I'm, I'm so grateful that I have accomplished this thing. And so to speak truth to yourself, or to see things uh, in the future as they already have happened. So I want to talk about this because we have seen it occur in mixed martial arts, where various fighters have been given some hints as to how this works, or they read it somewhere, or someone told them. And I want to give some more clarity to what it means. Does it work? Does it not work? Let me start by saying it does work. There's a time and a place and, and powerful um, science behind it. So, uh, so we're going to talk about visioning and affirmations. Here's where you may have seen it. Uh, someone like Diego Sanchez, uh, when he comes out, he's always saying, yes, yes, yes. And he pumps himself up into a, um, an unbelievably high state of emotionality, positive emotionality. And so saying something positive to oneself, and he has to interpret what yes means in his own head. It means something to him when he says yes. And you can attach different words and so on. Uh, but you can also simply say um, the positive affirmations of, I know I can do this. All right. And we've heard that as fighters. We've also heard fighters say in interviews, I see myself in the ring with my hand raised at the end. I see the belt around my waist, the championship belt. And so we will, we will hear them talk about, I've envisioned it. And some fighters on The Ultimate Fighter TV uh, reality show, you'll see fighters will enter into the cage when no one's around and do a victory dance and raise their hand up and imagine themselves having won the fight. So it's real. It's entered the world of mixed martial arts. And let me say uh, right off the top, it's brilliant that it's in there. And I wanted to give you some more clarity on how it works. Here we go. So visioning and affirmations. First thing I want to talk about is what's called the reticular activating system. This is the part of the brain that simply says, I've been given a command. I will find it. And so a dominant thought is found. I'll give you a the most simple, um, common example of how we see this work in our brains. Reticular activating system. If you've ever gone through the process of buying a car, okay, so I know I'm leaving the world of MMA for an example, but if you ever bought a car, you probably went through a buying process of research. What kind of car do I want? A sports car or a truck? What are the applications? What are the costs? What do I want new or used? And all that thinking process that goes into it. So your conscious mind is heavily involved. As you begin to whittle down the, the choices, we'll get closer and closer to what it is that you've decided, you become emotionally attached. You become emotionally connected with that concept or that car, and you'll have a picture. Maybe you'll put it on your, your screen at, uh, on your computer, and you'll say, okay, that's it. And maybe you get posters and put them on the walls, or you'll go to a showroom to see it, feel it, touch it. And so we are involving our senses, involving our emotions in this idea of this car. Now, the interesting thing that happens is somewhere along the line during the process of research or after you've purchased the car, you may notice what most people notice, which is this. Everyone's driving one of those cars. You never saw anyone driving it before. Now it's everywhere. Every intersection, every street corner, every movie. You see that car, your car, in that movie. How did, it, uh, how did everyone get the same idea you had at the same time? It's amazing. Well, what's amazing is nothing changed except your ability to perceive, your reticular activating system, your ability to spot in your environment something that is your current dominant thought on the inside begins to occur. And so once we, we give ourselves a command, our brain tries to see it through. At 400 billion bits of data per second, our subconscious mind is working 24-7 on making that vision a reality. And the gap between cognitive dissonance is not comfortable. We want to have the vision and the reality match up. And as long as we have a vision that's not real, we're creating uh, tension internally, and our brain is working at making it real. So having a vision of myself as champion is giving your brain a command. It's saying, okay, okay, now go get me that, go fetch me that. And it is kind of like that. It is retraining the subconscious mind. Oh, sorry, I, I, uh, I kind of changed in the subject, I apologize. I put these slightly out of order, but retraining the subconscious mind is relating to our personal perceptions. So this mostly refers to the affirmations. I'm gonna to jump topics and I'm gonna come back to that reticular activating system and giving commands to the brain. So forgive me, bear with me. Retraining the subconscious mind is what affirmations are doing. 
So let's say from childhood, people had said that you are weak or slow, physically slow or mentally slow or anything. You may have believed that. The moment you believed it, you began to prove it. And so belief precedes evidence 100% of the time. We found that to be true scientifically. So what you believe is really, really important. And if you believe that you're a broke person or a wealthy person, if you believe you're strong or weak, you will actually work all the time to prove yourself right. We hate to be wrong. And what we believe to be true, we try and manifest with all of our conscious and unconscious, subconscious and and, uh, heightened conscious efforts. So it is important that we be mindful of our beliefs, our perceptions about ourselves, because they could be they could be supportive or they can be um, non-supportive, disempowering. So when you're doing the affirmations, you're retraining the subconscious mind. The visioning will do that as well. But most of the time when people are having daily affirmations. They're saying things to themselves. They're retraining their brain to say, this is true about me. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a billionaire. It's the kind of thing that could retrain the brain. Um, That's not maybe. Anyway, you get the idea. It is the positive, personal, present tense, affirmation, verbal comment that retrains the brain to believe it to be true. Now, in both cases, whether we're doing the visual or the affirmation, we're setting a homing torpedo uh, target. So let's think about now how we can get off track with this. A homing torpedo can only see so far. A torpedo mechanism will say its range is this. And so if you set a target for this, this torpedo that's outside of its range, it can't find it. It will spin around aimlessly. It will not be able to achieve the goal you've set for it. Sometimes people set visions and affirmations that are too far beyond, and the brain can't believe them. And as long as it doesn't believe them, it won't seek to make them true. So sometimes we have a vision too far. Here's an example of what I mean. Instead of envisioning oneself with a championship uh, belt, one might see themselves completing an arm bar effectively. See in the mind's eye. I can see myself moving the head over and pulling my left leg up. I can feel my body weight shift as I grab that arm and pull it. Envisioning piece by piece. I can envision myself shooting that jab out there faster than that person. I can see myself beating them to the punch on that particular issue. But moment to moment to moment, your brain says, yes, I can see that. I'll work on it. Yes, I've got it. I'll work on it. But if you say, win the championship, your brain says, I don't know how. I don't know. I, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't.